Hello world. I am coming to you from Half Moon Bay, the most beautiful place on the coast, I feel. Um, and I know I haven't posted in about three weeks. And I want to give you an update. I have been very busy living life here in, uh, I left Mount Shasta what a week or two ago oh my gosh anyway i've been in palo alto i've been just a tiny bit in half moon bay and realizations it's pretty intense over there in palo alto that is the epicenter of silicon valley where i lived for 29 years raising my family and running a very fun and lucrative photography business, I have to say. And what I am saying now is that uh, I am on to a new place in my life, but it's been very interesting to be at uh, the epicenter again and reconnect. Um, however, things have really changed there in ways that um, I'm probably not going to articulate right here but I have to say um, it's not the little town <laughs> that I used to know so much it's pretty it's pretty different and it's uh, pretty intense I've had good experiences I've reconnected with friends and good business connections have happened uh, of course the best things that I think have happened have been outside <laughs> the town no there have been some good stuff but what I wanted to talk about today is when you really kind of feel like uh, when you really feel that you have, you kind of hit a wall, you need to check in with your friends. Here I am on the coast in my jacket with the big buttons. Um, so listen, I felt like I was in a tough place and I talked with my dear dear friend Lisa and everything is all better again because you know she's an amazing person she's changed her life and she's an artist a very good and wonderful person and artist and um, it's good to check in with people you love that really get you because I feel so much better after talking to her because she gets me and I get her. So um, thank you, Lisa, for that. So I just wanted to tell you that when you just don't know where to turn, check in with a person that loves you and, and gets you and you'll get a whole new perspective. And then the other thing is that, um, you know, living this uh, artist, some people call it nomadic, other people call it vagabond life. Uh, it's not that easy all the time. And uh, some people say you're crazy, but guess what? If you're happy and you're doing what you've been called to do in your life because your intuition, as I always say, trust your gut, is telling you, then you don't have to answer to anyone. So you just keep doing what you're doing, no matter how renegade, crazy, and wonderful it is. And we're all going to be better. And as Lisa said today, you know, if you're not being yourself, then look what you're um, holding back from the world. So you're denying the world of your wonderful self. Oh my God, there's people with bathing suits on down there. Look at this enormously wonderful place. So it's about to start raining. But I wanted to check in with everybody. Check in with your friends, people that love you, someone who gets you. And you keep being your wild and wonderful free self because that's how the world is going to benefit. Many blessings and enjoy your beautiful day. From Half Moon Bay, California.